Gone too soon, 24-year-old Carolyn Ramirez, an Army private stationed at Fort Meade, was found shot to death in her Severin home. Now, more than a year later, authorities make a big break in the investigation. WJZ is live. Rick Ritter with the indictment that is pinning her husband to the crime. Rick? Mary, the FBI and Anne Arundel County Police have been working on this case for more than a year, a case that's had very few answers until now. She was an Army private stationed at Fort Meade and had just become a new mother. The murder of Carlin Ramirez rocked the entire state and for the past year was labeled a mystery. It's a heartbreaking case um, that a lot of people can, can relate to and feel for. August 2015, an open door at Ramirez's home in Anne Arundel County leads police to a gruesome discovery. Ramirez was found dead in her town home here along Millstone Court in Severn. Inside, authorities say it was a heartbreaking scene. Ramirez shot to death on the floor with her five-month-old next to her, unharmed. I thought I heard something, and I didn't know if I, at the beginning I thought it was firecrackers maybe. For 13 months, Anne Arundel County detectives and the FBI never Absolutely. stopped searching for answers. We put a lot of time and effort into this. Just days ago, Ramirez's husband, Malik Kearney, and his girlfriend, Dolores Delgado, were indicted for the slaying and tracked down in Texas. Per the indictment, the duo traveled from South Carolina to Maryland back in August of 2015 just to carry out the murder. A lot of things had to happen for this to fall into place. A lot of evidence had to be sorted through, most of it being electronic. Justice for Ramirez's family and a little girl who only got to spend months with her mom. This poor baby girl has to now grow up without a mother, um, but we're very thankful that when she grows up, she can learn that you know the people that did this are in jail. And per the Army Times, Kearney was stationed at Joint Base San Antonio. If convicted, the two face life in prison. Reporting live tonight, I'm Rick Ritter. Mary, back to you All on right. TV Hill. Rick, thank you so much. Prosecutors are seeking to have both Kearney and Delgado return to Maryland.